So, what is the dish we're cooking now? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, it's so got well. to be the other vegetable. The one right. we buy, rendering, I don't know what right, the name is. Right, the one that we don't know what the name of it is. I'm going through But it reminds that. me of, um, oh, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. That's uh, soybeans. Yeah. And then we use the pork or we just left in the last time. All right, so that's the pork yeah. from the last dish we did, which was the ginger and pork. She just put some soybean sauce in there, right? Yeah. And like I say, these are just a vegetable. I broke a piece off in uh, the market and tasted it, and it reminded me of uh, the texture of tender asparagus. But there's a veggie-like flavor that I can't really describe. So it just seemed to me that these would taste good. Already, like, you know, very fresh flavor, fresh, like yep. dark, with some type of mood of the right. plant. So we're going to call this pork and green stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's uh, a little bit of salt in case. Right, a little bit of salt. Then when it starts to turn a little bit green more, and then it's ready. Right. And then the marking, the people tell me that you don't need to fry too much, you can right. eat it, and then it's ready. And it's just breaking my heart we're not throwing garlic in all of these different dishes. Oh, probably we <laughs> But anyway, in last one, for the vegetable, we'll put many, many, don't worry about that. If you all could just be here to smell so. So if you ever come here, I suggest that you look up uh, Emma and take one of her cooking experiences. This is pork and fresh green stuff. Oh, the flavor. Man, if you could taste this. Very, very good. It's a very new flavor for me, too. Uh -huh. So I'm taking this. Yeah. So we're just accumulating a bunch of different good dishes. And we're setting them here. And then we're going to come sit down and just feast off of all of these goodies. I'm going to make the last one, the vegetable. Okay, so she's prepping now for the last uh, vegetable dish she's going to make. And, she need, and then the Mr. William lined many, many garlic. So we are going to use a lot of the garlic then. She's doing me a favor. She's going to make a soup of garlic. She of course, she garlic. won't talk to me anymore this evening, but <laughs> she'll be turning her head. <laughs> Every time she talks, she'll be. <laughs> oh, it won't be too bad. <laughs> no, I won't. And, and we can't forget that over here in this crock pot, we have a really good dish. It's very easy to see why when I come back from vacation, I look about 15 pounds more because the food is just super great. Oh, see, that one, it got away. Oh, there's a sweetness to the garlic over here. Really? Yes. I don't believe it. No, it is. There's a sweetness. Are you sure? I'm positive. <laughs> okay. So we're going to pause this while she continues to prep all of the good food. All right, we're back again. She's finished prepping. She's cut up my gorgeous garlic and, ginger. and some ginger. Enough? Yes, enough. More? No, no. I'll be nice. <laughs> that garlic, what kind of oil is that that you put oh, in there? Peanut. peanut oil. Okay. 
Yeah, the aroma of the garlic is great. Infused with that peanut oil and the ginger. Now she's taking the mustard cream. But then how do you get the vegetables? Right. And just tenderize it. And that's it. I'm going to leave information below so you can uh, look Emma up on Tour HQ. And you too can have this gorgeous cooking experience. Thank you very much. It's very inexpensive. All you have to do is um, pay her for her services. She'll let you know the price when you contact her. And... You buy the ingredients that you want to cook, and you go back with her, and she shows you how. The experience of going to the market is, is, is just unique in itself. Uh, if you look at my other videos on here on YouTube, you'll see as we went through the market how you get to get up close and and personal with all the uh, with all the salespeople and things for the different meats, the vegetables, the uh, everything you can imagine. It's just great. I even got to eat live scorpions. <laughs> so it's an experience you can't beat. So, quick, simple, to the point. Ginger, garlic, and the mustard grains. And bam, that's another dish down. I always say that in dishes, if you have enough garlic, you don't need meat. <laughs> of course, that's just that's just my opinion and my taste. Okay. Okay, ready. So that's another dish. Man, this is going to be fantastic. So we have the pork and ginger. We have the uh, the ground fish on peppers. We have the green stuff with pork. We have the uh, mustard greens with ginger and garlic. And then we also have the black chicken. Black chicken soup. Black chicken soup. That puppy's going to be good, too. So are we cooking anything else, Emma? We need the salmon. Oh, the salmon. Okay. So we're going to take the salmon. Uh, I couldn't find I couldn't find any uh, dry spices in order for me to make my uh, my fish seasoning uh, that tastes so great in America. So I'm going to try something Chinese. Now you guys know me when I go uh, to the uh, market and so forth. In America, I'll see things and just kind of put two and two together. And you know how I like to taste all the ingredients first. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is take the salmon and let it sit in some of this uh, soybean sauce and while we eat the other food. Once we're finished with that, it should have marinated in there real good. And then we're going to come and we're going to blacken it. Uh, you know, and see what Chinese black and soybean <laughs> salmon tastes like. Okay, so now we're going to stop the video. The next video you'll see is us tasting all of these fabulous dishes. Talk oh. to you later. <laughs>